Hey everyone, Rob Vidoric here with another question and answer video. This one is a super common question, believe it or not, but um, almost uh, almost every day I get asked, hey Robert, how do I learn ServiceNow? So the first thing you should know is nobody's out there learning ServiceNow, as in all of ServiceNow. Those of us who have been in the space over a decade, we've all made peace with the fact that there's only so wide you can go. And the wider you go nowadays, the less you're going deep on some of the stuff that you could be expert at. So you've heard me say it a hundred times already, don't try and learn the whole thing, learn the parts of it that you resonate with. Now let's say you're asking the right question, and that is that you found technologies and processes that you resonate with on ServiceNow, maybe process areas that you worked in before your ServiceNow life. How do you learn those? Well, there's some really, you know, they seem obvious to those of us who have been in the game for a while, but the first thing you do is learn that tech. So you go to docs, you read everything you can do on docs.servicenow.com. You go to developer.servicenow.com and you get yourself a private developer instance and you try and build the things you're learning about from docs. The other thing you need to do is see what's available on Now Learning. Now there's lots of micro certifications for a broad variety of things, but there are also full paid for courses. Now, I know it's controversial and it hurts sometimes to pay, but consider what you're buying. ServiceNow is a very lucrative career, and there's people who pay, I mean, in the US, there's people who pay the equivalent of a house. They pay the equivalent of a house to get a degree that doesn't even guarantee them income. So give some thought as to what you're willing to pay to learn that quickly. Now this next point applies more to process apps than the text, but it's still worth knowing. You gotta learn to speak the language, okay? Consider that most of us came up on ITSM. And then when they started rolling out uh, more process-based solutions like HR and ITPM, there was a massive vacuum in the talent pool because the only people who really knew ServiceNow, uh, which is what people wanted, people who knew ServiceNow, uh, didn't speak the languages of the process areas that they were jumping into. To this day, you can still hear ITBM customers complain that you know they deployed this thing, but they don't really understand how a project management organization works. And so we're not getting the results that we want, or it takes too long to explain the things that we want this app to do. So you gotta speak the language. And this is why it's so hard for somebody to kind of go from beginner, absolute zero, into a high level of proficiency on the non-IT apps, ITBM, HR, SecOps. Uh, you have to know the language. So hang out with those people who operate in the process areas that you want to play in with ServiceNet. Okay, so you wanna know the real secret sauce? This part's for winners only. So if you're not a winner, I want you to shut this video off right now and go to the next video, okay? The real secret to really, really learning ServiceNow, the part of ServiceNow that you want to learn, the tech or the process, whatever it is, the real secret is to understand what outcomes that component provides. I'm not talking about how to do anything in that app, I'm talking about what the app provides. And so for this, you need a mindset, which is pretend I'm buying an outcome and not buying an app. What am I looking for, all right? What are the things that we do? What's the why behind the app? And that's hard enough as it is, but ServiceNow has a really awesome way to teach you that, and that is with their sales material. Have you ever wondered why is it that a sales rep with almost no technical knowledge whatsoever, no deployment experience certainly, can sway the decisions of a multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar company to buy one of the apps or technologies off of ServiceNow? Give that some thought for a second. It's because they know the outcomes they're selling. So get your hands on all the sales material that you can for the process or tech that you are trying to master and master that sales material because you have to know why this is worth spending all the money on. And if you can do that, that's when you know that you've learned ServiceNow. Well, that component of ServiceNow that you want to use anyway. This has been another QA session with Robert the Duke Fedoric live from the streets of Chicago. I hope you learned something new. I hope you had some wisdom in there. Stay tuned and please keep those questions coming to my DMs. I very, very much appreciate it.